Hi, we are continuing our journey for shooting stars. Our rating is 3036 in puzzles, the highest I, we had so far. And let's see if we can go even higher. So at this position, I can take the rook. Hmm. I can take the rook, king comes in. So we have three pawns versus two. We have some advantage, but uh, my first instinct is that the h pawn wants to become a queen. So let's say we take the rook, king uh, f5. I play h5. If king takes the f pawn, I play h4, and then that's a queen. But king doesn't take uh, f5 as any any move they make. I may I play f4, uh, h4, and that's winning. So king f5 is doomed. What about pawn push? I think it doesn't help either. So let's first take this rook. So it goes to h5. This was expected. No, if I go beyond behind the pawns, like d4, e3, f3, and then g3. This way I capture the pawns. And uh, do I win? If I push right away, it's very weak, I believe, because if I push f5, takes my h pawn, then I have two pawns against two pawns, and his king is closer to my territory i cannot do much so what can i do i can go in with the king i can also push the g pawn but this weak takes with the king and then i'm certainly losing so pushing the pawn is bad the only option is moving the king where king to um, king to e5 or d4 Let's calculate if I do d5, uh, e5, sorry, and then takes my h pawn. I then what can I do? I cannot, I don't have any good continuation. I can play king f5, plays king h5. In a best case for me, it will be a draw. And he does just, uh, just move the king up and down, and I cannot do anything. So king d4 is uh, seemingly the good move. And then next, I think I should go in and attack the pawn. Uh, king goes to, yeah, this is winning, right? King e3, attack the pawn. If push the pawn, I take, takes, I take back and then push the pawn. If it doesn't push the pawn and um, goes after my f1, I take the pawn and then I win. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's go for it and push this one and win. Wow, what a nice endgame puzzle. Mm, this one I could I could take the pawn with rook and with knight. Both of them are possible. And even with queen, with queen is a mate. Mate in one. Can you believe it? <laughs> mate in one in such a level. Wow. <laughs> Because the pawn is pinned and then knight is defending the queen, so king cannot take the queen, so it's mate in one. We are in check, and uh, my opponent is queening the pawn. And can we prevent mm, that pawn from being queen? Can we prevent the promotion of that pawn? I don't think so. What else can I do? I mean, if I play rook mm, f8, okay, just takes the knight and then comes back uh, to c8 with the rook and then that pawn is queen. If I move the king, mm, for example, to g7, just takes my knight and then I cannot defend the b8 square and mm, with any piece. So never... The less I cannot do anything special. And I should give up for that. 
So I play rook f8, takes my knight. I say check to the king at f3. Uh, king goes somewhere. Then I go behind the pawn with rook. Then goes, goes rook down again and, and gives me check. I go up, queens the pawn. And if I take it, takes back with the rook. But and no, wins the game because he has a rook against the bishop and he's a pawn. So let's say I go uh, f8 and he takes my knight and then I say check. He uh, has two moves, I believe. King h4, king h2, both of them are possible. What if I go h3 check? It doesn't bring me anything. But I also don't see any other move except rook f8. I mean, any move is doomed. So let's play it and see what happens. Okay, this wasn't the move. Going up. Wait a moment. Wait a moment. Why no, he should do that? He just gives me a check. Uh, no, I can play this because if it takes, I can defend that pawn. Oh, bad. Bad. Sometimes I miscalculate badly. So I attack the bishop. He moves the... No, I cannot attack the bishop. Instead, I'm thinking about playing king f3. And then pushing my pawn and queening that pawn. King f3, if he pins my pawn, then I push the f1 and then make it queen. If he uh, starts pushing the pawn, I push e3. Uh, he push if, uh, a5, I push e3. He push um, a6, I push e2. If he takes, I take. Uh, he push a7, I queen and win. So... He doesn't take, but he pushed the pawn to a7. I, I push to a, uh, e8. I queen. And and I will queen. I will make second queen. So he also makes queen. But I make second queen as well. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. So... In this position, it's important where to queen the pawn. I can queen the f pawn uh, or e pawn. Both of them are possible. If I queen the f pawn, takes my e pawn with check, and then I take mm, with king, and I'm happy. If I queen the, uh, uh, but if he doesn't take, he brings the queen in with check. And I'm not so happy. Uh, no, okay. I moved the king away and he's in the under check. So let's do it. It seems to be a good move. No, I can do this move and uh, I grab the a pawn next. Wow, what a puzzle. If I push the pawn, what happens? I push the pawn. He brings the king in. I push the pawn. He brings the king in. I push the pawn and pawn is queen. So let's push it. And once again, I push the pawn. He pushed the pawn. I push. He push with check. Yeah, it's okay. So I think I should have stopped the king to come from coming in. And then take this pawn and then take the other one. Wow. Good run. Good run. We are going higher and higher. Let's see what happens in the upcoming days. Can we hit 3500 soon? We will see.